Hello everyone, this is Ripley and Amy from the Rose Creek Public Library. We are here to share some tips to help make your Halloween pumpkin carving experience as smooth as possible. First, we'll touch on choosing the perfect pumpkin, then jack-o'-lantern carving techniques, then how to preserve your pumpkin, and finally, how to use the seeds to make a tasty snack. Let's get started! Step 1. Choosing your pumpkin. When choosing your pumpkin, you should be mindful of the three S's, the stem, the spots, and the shape. You want a pumpkin with a stem that's firm and healthy looking. A soft stem can indicate that a pumpkin is prone to rotting. Make sure to check the pumpkin skin to avoid soft spots, which can indicate rot as well. Finally, you want to make sure that the pumpkin shape is appropriate for what you want to carve or paint, and that it has a flat bottom that will let it stand up without rolling. Step two, carving your pumpkin. When the time comes to cut into your pumpkin and remove its insides, don't cut the hole around the stem. Rather, cut the hole from the pumpkin's bottom. This way, if you want to put a candle in your pumpkin, you aren't reaching your hand down over the flame. After the hole is cut and the guts are scraped out, you can draw your jack-o'-lantern's design with a dry erase marker rather than a sharpie or pen. This way, you can erase any uncarved lines without leaving permanent marks on your pumpkin. Finally, when you're carving your pumpkin, prop it up with some rolled up towels to give it purchase and prevent it from sliding out of your grasp or rolling off of the table. Step three, preserving your pumpkin. After your pumpkin is carved, you want to make sure it stays as fresh as possible through Halloween night or longer. To do this, you can fill a spray bottle with water and a cap full of bleach and spray the inside and outside of your pumpkin. This will help prevent mold growth and slow your pumpkin's decay. You can also rub the cut or carved areas of the pumpkin with vegetable oil to prevent them from drying out quickly. Using a combination of these common household items will help keep your pumpkin in good shape through the end of the spooky season. Step number four, cooking the seeds. Toasted pumpkin seeds are a perfect and healthy fall treat, and they're a good way to ensure that no part of your pumpkin goes to waste. As you carve your pumpkin, place its seeds in a bowl until you're ready to cook them. You'll need to clean and strain them in a colander before seasoning. Make sure you dry them off with a paper towel too. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, then coat the seeds in an oil of your choosing, like melted butter or coconut oil. You can then season the seeds however you like, with plain salt and pepper, a flavoring like garlic salt or chili pepper, or even cinnamon and brown sugar. Spread the seeds out in a single layer on a baking sheet and toast for 12 to 15 minutes, tossing them every five minutes or so to make sure that they brown evenly. Then just let them cool and enjoy. And that's all of our tips. Thanks for tuning into our video. But before we let you go, we do have two questions to ask. If you feel like answering these questions, you can type your answer into the comment box below. Question number one, do you have any other pumpkin carving hacks? And question number two, do you have any other holiday hacks to share? All right, thanks for following along. Make sure to tag us at the Rose Creek Public Library in photos of your jack-o'-lanterns if you follow any of our tips. Until next time, Happy carving and happy Halloween.